Hi, Nicholas. So uh, you had some ideas on uh, standards itself, right? For yeah. for what virtual yeah. water and water itself. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what we see in, in places like East Africa is that although water law and government management of water is really the, uh, the only way forward because they've got a, a mandate to do that work for the public good, uh, actually getting those systems to work is going to take many years because of capacity issues, lack of data, uh, difficult political economy issues. Uh, but at the same time, we see large commercial water users who are working in those environments, you know, flower growers or people producing green beans and exporting them to uh, to the UK, my, big mining operations, even even tourism industries. And they're working in a kind of uh, a, a regulatory vacuum and, and depend on water um, for the for the, uh, operational viability, but they also need to be careful of what they're doing their water use to protect downstream water users and to protect their reputation. Uh, and we, we see that there's a, a bit of a gap there because the standards that they work to at the moment, things like fair trade, global gap, uh, the kind of the trade standards, the, the supermarket standards, they don't handle water resources very well at all. They, they basically look at the quality of water coming into the site and not, not much else. Um, so we see that there's a, an opportunity there to drive progress in water management fairly rapidly through the development of a third party certifiable standard for sustainable water resource use or water stewardship. So basically, in a way like a, 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 some self-regulation that a site can, can establish what water, sustainable water use means in their context set a benchmark and work against that and then that's monitored and checked by a third party then they can have a label or a standard or a certification which means they can get benefit in the marketplace with preferential uh, treatment from uh, consumers or purchasers because they're doing the right thing they're, they're, they're using water as sustainably as they can and that's really valuable I mean that, there's excitement in this from all over the world we're now working in something called the Alliance for Water Stewardship uh, with groups from North America, South America, Asia Australia and Europe to develop this standard and to, to pilot it, uh, to reach out to water stakeholders and experts to make sure the thing works and is meaningful uh, and is cost effective. Uh, and we've got a three year development phase and that's one of the things we've been doing here is to, uh, is to consult with water users here at Stockholm uh, to let them know how this is going. We've just got some money to pilot the thing in the standard in Kenya. Uh, it's very exciting, we'll be starting the night in, uh, in, in three weeks time. Uh, to really find out how this thing's going to work in the difficult context of, of African catchments where uh, the water's highly contested, a very dynamic environment, there's either too much water or no water at all. We've got very disparate water users, so uh, people are taking untreated water for drinking right next to large multinationals using water for commercial production. So we want to test this standard there, make sure it's meaningful and it hopefully be developed in the next uh, three years and you'll see it in the uh, in the shops. Which are the organizations that you think have taken a lead or are leading the effort, you know, organizations, countries or? Oh, okay, I mean the, the, the Alliance for Water Stewardship is made up by the Nature Conservancy in the USA, World Wildlife Front, so WWF, International, uh, the Water Stewardship Initiative Australia, European Water Partnership, and we're working with the private sector, some of these corporate water users uh, sorry, there's also the Pacific Institute uh, and the Water Environment Federation, I shouldn't forget these people. Um, uh, so we're working with, with corporate partners to, to explore how this standard could work in their supply chains. So people taking a lead, um, you know, I don't want to pick anybody out, well I should, if I want to have to pick people out, Sab Miller, the brewers are doing a lot of very good work, uh, Marks and Spencer are doing some excellent work, um, even you know, Coca-Cola, uh, they've learned from, from uh, past experience that water is important for their reputation. So they're, they're, they're the guys leading the field really from the corporate sector.